Okay, so we cut the uh, one millimeter spacer off of the sprue. Again, careful with your fingers if you're using a scalpel, but they are always the best tool to use. So you put the one millimeter spacer into the, uh, the shot body onto the shaft and make sure you just push this over and there you'll see that the, the spacer is floating up and down the shaft. Then you take your metal washer, put that on and you make sure again that you, you see the contour of the bottom of the piston is facing down and the top is flat. Put that on. The reason why you have the metal washer on the underneath is to stop the shaft from forcing its way through the uh, piston. Then put your 2.6 nylon nut into the Kaisho spanner and just put it onto the top and gently do it up. Once you get it to there, you'll feel the nylon biting into the thread. Just turn that a couple of turns. And as soon as you feel it tighten again, just a, a very small nip on the top so that you don't crush the, uh, the piston and you get a nice smooth operation. So that's, that's all good. So you've got that cut, everything's good, no marks on your shaft. So you're ready to, uh, again, fill up with oil. And we're using, in this piston, is the uh, 1.4 angled piston, this is what comes standard in the MP9 TKI free kit and we're using a 400 oil, this is a good base setting uh, for smooth fast tracks uh, and high traction uh, so we put, we fill the uh, oil to about halfway then just raise the, raise the piston, not out of the oil and then just pull down gently and this will release all of the air underneath and save you waiting a lot longer for the air to rise so that you're clear from air. Just, uh, just fill it up to the top and you'll see obviously this is what the diaphragm job does is it takes the volume of the shock shaft so you can see there's a little bit too much in there so just take it down pour some back in and try again basically you want it level with the shock, the shock you can see that's that's good because you'll have the diaphragm taking that space up which is the diaphragm's job okay so you use that here's the old cliche of the shocks that I've prepared earlier and no sticky plastic required so you leave the shocks while you're while you're doing the shock waiting for the shocks for the uh, air to come out to the top uh, you'll need your shock caps preparing them and your inserts so you have that and you have your diaphragms we use two types of diaphragm this is the standard one this works quite well for flat surfaces if you use the older model is is a slightly more bigger dome and this is good for the bigger tracks uh, the bumpier tracks sorry and uh, and works very well with the 1.3 8 hole piston straight straight hole so you have your, your diaphragms there and your shot caps. Uh, a little tip is I use uh, silicon sealant just to put on the insert, on the inside of the insert. This helps, uh, it stops wear basically, so you'll get a lot longer life out of your, uh, your shop top. So just apply a small amount, top and bottom of the insert. Then you, you take your shock top and your insert, push the top in first, it's a bit fiddly, and then push the bottom one in again. Again, try not to use any tools or any metal objects because you'll damage the insert. You just use a roll of tissue just to wipe the excess off and make sure your insert is, uh, is nicely placed in that way. Obviously that's the facing way and then you put your nut on that way so that it doesn't push off. Okay, so you leave that to set to one side. It's best time to do it so that there's no oil and grease on the shock cap. And again, 
repeat. Just get the silicon, just a little bit on the top and on the bottom. And this just stops uh, movement and dust getting in between the, the plastic and the aluminium. And once you put it in, try and put the top in first and then just push up. It makes it fiddlier with the silicon, but it's worth the it's worth the job once you get it in. And just wipe the excess off. So you have your two shot caps. And what I do with the diaphragms is I lubricate them and get the oil on there so they're nicely lubricated, rub in, get the next one, rub that on top and bottom. What this does is it makes sure it slides nicely into place with no backlash or it, it will rebound perfectly and a good seal. And if you do that with all four of your diaphragms at the same time, just make sure all the oil is well rubbed in to all of them. And then they're all nicely oiled, ready to go in. Then you've got your shot cap. Just squeeze, squeeze the diaphragm, pop into the corner and push down. And you'll see it pops in really easy. And you just want it, you don't want to push it fully in, but you just want it to rebound so that you've got a nice rebound there. And that's the job where the oil takes over. So again, you just squeeze it into like a pasta shell shape. Just push the first part in and just push down with your finger and you'll find that it just pops in nicely. The oil just helps. And again, just check that it's holding pressure and it's returning. And then you have no problem with your diaphragm folding inside out once the uh, cap is securely down. Uh, with the um, with the bottom of the shock uh, plastic cradle, you can see I've cut some some cutouts uh, from here and on the top here. All this does is stop the sharp edge from when you're when you're pushing the uh, the cradle over, and it's going over the bellow, the rubber. It stops cutting holes in that and protects that as well. You know, like I took the sharp edges off of the. Uh, the ball end as well and this all helps for the protection of your shock and shock shaft from uh, dust getting into your oil and shock shaft and wearing out your oil seals. So with the uh, the bleeding of the shocks I push the shock shaft up just to make sure that we have enough oil to the top of the shock casing and I pull down and I apply the uh, shock cap and screw that on and you will see that I have um, the bleed hole is here. I'll screw you can see some of the air coming out already. What I do is just do this so it's about a millimeter from the from the top of, top of the shock. And I um, I then push down It's good.
TV.